They were separated by the Vietnam War and reunited by their love for a lost Marine. We first told you about Corporal Robert Bryson last night. When he died, he left behind his wife, his daughter, and a best friend. News 8 7 Axel Bank tells us about their life changing reunion 42 years later. Maureen and Kevin, here's what happened. In August, I was at the traveling Vietnam Wall in Fairport. I met a man named Dave Flaherty. His army buddy from Gates died in Vietnam in 1967. Now, Dave carried a photo of his friend's then seven month old daughter. He always wondered what happened to her, and with help from viewers, we found his daughter and flew her to Rochester. Everyone in the story was searching for answers, and the reunion you're about to see was full of them. I bet it's over there. After 42 years, they were only a few feet apart. I can't wait to talk to Dave because there's so many questions, you know, that, that I didn't think that I had such a limited time to answer all the questions that I had. I thought I had a lifetime. I think I really just want to listen. I don't feel like I'll probably have to ask him that many questions. I'm sure he'll just want to tell us. Every day as it drew closer, I grew more and more anxious. Three people the wife of a fallen Marine, the Marine's daughter, a long-lost best friend. After 42 years, they were together again. Hi, sweetie, how are you? A day has not gone by that I haven't thought about you. I have thought about you for, I tell you, this is 40 years. 42 years that that I have waited for this moment, and I never thought that it would happen. I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> Lisa went from baby picture to grown up in an instant. Hi. You better get over Hi. here. Hi, it's very nice to meet you. Let me see where never, is that? Never been out of my wallet. Lisa learned more about her father in the next three hours than she had in 42 years. After all, this is the only picture she has of him. She wants to know, don't you think she looks like Bob? Yes. There's nothing like a best friend to fill in the gaps. I didn't know that he was obsessed with his hair and that starched shirt, um, but when you look at his picture, it just kind of made me laugh. Oh, and that one picture? Now she has two. That's your father. I feel like he's with us. He brought us here. Even after 40 years, Robert Eugene Bryson has not been forgotten by Monroe County. His family and Dave made sure to stop at the plaque that's dedicated to him at Highland Park. I said to my mom recently that I wanted him to be remembered and I wanted to tell his grandchildren about him. And it was remarkable that so many other people are thinking of him every day. Lisa, a TV commercial producer in Chicago, showed off her children during a casual lunch. Adorable family. In Chicago, because you can tell we have warm coats on. Then it was off to the house that Robert grew up in, which still stands on Hinchy Road. Robert's boyhood friend met them. And he would also walk up there to go catch the bus for Aquinas. Cause they Finally, the perspective. For Lisa, the man in the picture now had a house friends and a hometown. I feel relieved 40 years of um, wondering and you know worrying about my mom is, have, has been lifted. The day brought many gifts for Joanne, a nurse who has never had an easy time talking about her first husband. I think it helps to heal the wounds and I think it it enables more discussion about him and his life. Dave has added depth to a picture as well. In his eyes, Lisa was a baby until a sunny afternoon in October of 2009. I, I had no idea looking at that picture with her at seven months sitting there in her diaper that such a beautiful person would develop. Dave has achieved his life's goal. He now knows what became of the widow and daughter of a fallen Marine. This is the highlight of my life. But they're thankful for more. You know, the service is out of love and dedication for family and freedom. And we should all be grateful every day for the people that are fighting for us and our safety. Lisa's dad was one of those people. Thanks to a once-in-a-lifetime reunion, Robert E. Bryson became more than a picture.
to Lisa, he became real. Lisa is now at work on a personal website about her father, and she now has much more material to work with. So the story began with a Marine's death, but it does have a happy ending. And Kevin and Marine, they kept saying, Robert brought us here. Robert brought us here. They said that over and over that day. Oh, it's beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh, yeah. It really is. Yeah. So emotional. Um, Lisa, so Lisa never met her father, right. and she'd never met Dave either. And she'd never been, uh, she'd never been here to Rochester, uh, which is amazing. And, yeah. and, and as she said goodbye to him on Saturday, um, she gave him a hug, and I heard her whisper to him, I love you. Oh, it's terrific. And, and that's just after a few minutes of meeting him, but it meant so much to her because of the connection to her father. It's the only connection other than her mother that she has. And, and really quickly, Evan, because we know a, a News 8 viewer helped find Lisa. Yeah, it, it's How unbelievable. It after the first story that we aired back in August, just about Dave, you said, mm -hmm. if anybody can help us get in touch with him, with, t get in touch with Lisa, please call in, write. And we got an email the next day saying, Lisa's a TV commercial producer oh. in Chicago. Here's her website. Got in touch with Lisa, and I have to say they were a little reticent at first to do this because they didn't know if it would be too painful to come to Rochester mm -hmm. and do this. Thankfully, thanks to, to Lisa and Joanne mm -hmm. and to everybody who made it possible for um, them to fly here because it turned into not just a great story, but a life-changing experience for them. Yeah, absolutely. It's a beautiful story. Thanks, Evan. And as Lisa said, thank you to all our veterans. Mm -hmm. For all you do for our country and for all of us. Absolutely. Nice, nice job, Evan.